In this Bonsai 3D tutorial, we will discuss the mesh, unmesh, and triangulate operations found in the Edit Suite of Tools. The mesh tool is used to generate rectangular mesh on the surface or single face of an object. Before we get started, we must first generate an object on which to create the mesh. In this example, we generate a 10-foot cube. With the mesh tool active, click on the cube. A mesh is generated on every surface of the object. Now let's take a look at the options available in the Tool Options palette for the Mesh tool. It's here that we can adjust the density of the mesh because it's still in edit mode as you can see. The default is set to 4 feet. Here we enter 2 feet in the X field and as we do so notice the Y field automatically changes. That's because the Lock Proportions box to the right is checked. Needless to say that if we uncheck it we're able to enter different measurements for the two fields separately. If desired, you can apply the mesh to a single face, undo the previous mesh example so that we're left with the original cube. With the mesh tool active, move the cursor over a face, then press and release the tab key until the face is highlighted. Remember the tab key allows you to cycle through all pickable entities. A single click now applies a mesh to the face and a yellow rotation circle appears as well. With it, we can rotate the mesh as we show here, as well as move the mesh in the X and Y directions. Now we can remove the mesh with the undo operation as we did before or with the next tool in the edit suite called unmesh. Here we select a tool then click on the object. The mesh is removed from the cube. The mesh tool is also applicable in other ways. Here we've taken our cube and added multiple faces with the reshape and offset face and segment tools available in the reshape draw suite. Now with the unmesh tool active, click on the object to remove any unnecessary segments. The third and final operation we'll discuss in this tutorial is the triangulate tool. It's used to triangulate non-planar or all faces of an object. In this example, we extrude a pentagon and a hexagon with the Polygon tool from the Draw Suite of Tools. When drawing a polygon, note that its number of sides is determined with the pattern icon shown in the Tool Options palette. We'll use these objects to perform the triangulate operation. Observe that all faces of both polygons are planar. This is noteworthy considering non-planar faces only is the default option in the Triangulate Tool Options palette. Therefore, we'll need to create a non-planar face on one of the polygons for the triangulate operation to work properly for this example. To do this, we'll select a corner point of the top face of the left polygon and move it up. With the Move tool selected, move the cursor over a corner point, then press and release the Tab key to cycle through pickable entities until you're able to select the point. Immediately after you click on it, press and release the Command key on Macintosh or the Control key on Windows to move the corner point perpendicularly. We now have an object with a non-planar face on top. If you aren't quite sure if an object has any non-planar faces, select the Measure Quantities tool from the Manage suite and click on the object. Inside the Tool Options palette, you'll find a number of fields regarding dimensions of the selected object. As you can see, the polygon we've selected has exactly one non-planar face. And if we select the polygon on the right, observe that it doesn't have any non-planar faces. Now with the Triangulate tool selected, click on the left polygon and observe the result. The non-planar face is triangulated. Because the polygon is still in edit mode, we're able to experiment with the different triangulation methods available in the Tool Options palette. Currently, the polygon is triangulated with option A, which is the default. Here's option B, option C, and finally option D. Now what if we want to triangulate all faces of an object, regardless of planarity? Here we apply the twist operation from the reshaped suite of tools to the right polygon so that its six side faces are now non-planar while the top and bottom faces remain planar. 
Feel free to validate your observation once again with the Measure Quantities tool as we did so previously. With the Triangulate tool selected, select the Triangulate All Faces option inside the Tool Options palette. As we click on the right polygon, Bonsai 3D requires that we convert our smooth object to a faceted one in order for it to be triangulated. Clicking OK inside this message converts the object automatically. The result is a triangulated object on every planar and non-planar face. Finally, we illustrate here that we're able to manipulate our faces quite easily by using the reshape tool as an example. And this concludes our Bonsai 3D Mesh and Triangulate tutorial.